جزاک اللہ برادر محمد شیخ انڈیڈ ایٹ واز ایڈ انسپائرنگ ٹاک اور وی ایب آل ویٹنس دی سپیرٹ آف ٹروت ان دیس لیکچر ویڈ دیس آئی اوپن اپ دی فلور فور کوشن این آنسر سیشن Our program coordinators will come up to you and give you the mic. So we'll give privilege to ladies first. You can ask your question, but please stand up and ask your questions. Ladies and gentlemen, one question at a time, and I will not entertain any long debates or discussions because it's a question and answer session. Please, before asking your question, Identify yourself, speak out your name, and then ask the question pertaining to today's topic. Ladies first. Brother Muhammad Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mrs. Shehriyar. And my question is Can you give the reference from the Bible about the Spirit? Okay. You see, the, uh, I told you in, the, in, my, in my lecture that there is some references. I, don't, I, don't, I, have not, I just wrote down a few references of the Bible where uh, the Holy Ghost is mentioned and referred as the Spirit of Truth. And I will, it is in First John, I can write down the reference, 5 verse 7. For there are three that bear witness in heaven the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So now, according to their belief, this Holy Ghost, if you look up at the dictionary also, they refer it as the Spirit. Holy Ghost is also a Spirit. That our lecture, what is the Spirit? I have already discussed the essence of the Allah's eyes. Now, another, part, another place is also mentioned, two, three verses in continuous I am reading. In John 16, verse 7, it is supposed to be Jesus talking. In this verse, it says, but I tell you, John 16, verse 7, but I tell you the truth, it is for good that I go away. Unless I go away, the counsel, counselor will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him. Uh, uh, the, Jesus in this, by, in this reference is saying that it is important or it is, it, is, it is good for you that I go away. And if I not go away, the counselor doesn't come to you. In other words, he's a counselor himself at that moment containing the message or the essence of Allah, spirit of Allah. And now he says, if I go away, then I will send him. And in John 14, 16, 17, he says, I, and I will ask the Father, that is referred to God, he will you, give you another counselor to be with you forever, the spirit of truth. Forever, the spirit of truth. And John 16, 12 to 13, he says, I have much more to say to you, more than you can de now bear. But he, when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He, he will not speak of his own. He will speak only what he hears. And he will tell you what is yet to come. Now this spirit of truth is referred here also. The spirit of truth comes and he will guide you into all truth. Similar, you know, this is the spirit of truth. So this is spirit of truth, even in the, in the Bible you can find, that this spirit of what is the spirit? We have said, "Qul nazar al Qudus min Rabbi ka bil haq li thabbit al ladin amanu wa abdum wa bushayil muslimin." So, if you look at this Bible, that the spirit of truth is come, He will guide you into all truth. "Qul nazar al Qudus min Rabbi ka bil haq li thabbit al ladin amanu wa abdum wa bushayil muslimin." Say the Holy Spirit is revealed to you. "Qul nazar al Qudus min Rabbi ka bil truth." So, we are asking these Christians and Jews to read the Quranic ayahs in translation and see does it contain the Holy Spirit? Does it contain the Spirit of Truth? Does it contain the trustworthy Spirit? But if they read, then can, they can understand. As non-Muslims and label Muslims do not read and understand the Quranic Arabic and they don't read the translation also, similar they are not reading. And the ones who have read the Quran have understood the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, they have become Muslims, submitters to Allah. They have become. But if they are not reading it, they are not taking guidance. But the concept of the spirit of truth is, men is mentioned also in the Bible. It is mentioned.
Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Mrs. Alam. I have two questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, the first one is, how can we be sure that the translation and the spirit essence is correct as there are many translations? Okay. The question is that there are many translations in the world and how can we be sure that this translation uh, and the spirit of truth is contained in all the translations or there, there are some variance in the translation. Generally speaking, there are num numerous translations. First of all, I would like to tell you the language that I'm speaking English language at the moment. But if you look at the ancient English, you will see thou, the, you know, uh, some like this. You know, language always keep on changing by the passage of time. So why there are numerous translation? Because the language changes by the passage of time. So in a dictionary that words are added. The words are added in a dictionary because it was first thou, now it is you, thee is, is, is singular. So, so th th it contains every word that is spoken in English language, if there are dictionaries and there are different uh, areas, this word means this and the, the, this is how dictionaries are made. So now, why there are many translations in different languages of the world? First of all, why? Then, then how will you confirm? So there are many different translations in the world, but the concept is almost the same if you read any translation, because the choice of word chosen by a person may vary. The choice of word may vary because of the time factor and because of the current language. Because nowadays the language is like this and maybe 100 years back was English was something different and 200 or 500 years the English will become something else. But in the diction they keep on adding the words about one particular language. Suppose you are reading a translation and now you want to make sure what is coming from the essence that has come from God or not. So there is a ayat in the Quran to give you the confidence. How will you make it sure that it is coming from God? You, there is a Surah Nisa 4 and I 82. It says, Afala yatatabbaruna al Quran. Walau kana min di gharillah. La wajadu fi ikhtilafan kasira. Do they not consider the Quran reading with care? If it had been from other than Allah, they would surely have found much contradictions in it. So now you're reading a translation and you're reading, suppose, about the spirit. And there are many eyes here and there. So if you are reading a translation, the spirit, if it's not, if the translate, if the if the translator has not properly translated, so you will find many contradictions in the in the translations. Not one, many contradictions. So the ayat, the Allah's Quran, the essence of the spirit, does not have any contradiction. So the translation translator can be judged by the Arabic text and at the same time it does it should not have any contradictions. If there is a contradiction that is not coming from Allah. That is his human self conjecture. So he says, Quran, do they not consider the Quran? If it is not from Allah, you'll find many contradictions. It is not from Allah. If a human self has injected some concepts in a translation, you'll find contradiction of a particular subject. So you can be assured reading a translation and if there is no contradiction coming, as I have delivered a talk, giving you a translation, and if there is no contradiction coming, that is coming from Allah. Al-Tahreem 66, Ayah 12. You said uh, the translation is, and she was truthful with the words of her Lord. Uh, can you please explain that? How is she truthful with the words? Okay. Actually, uh, the whole, uh, that ayah, I will read again. Uh, in Surah Tarim 66 and Ayah 12, Maryam Abnata Imran al Lati Asad Faja, Fanafakna Fihi Miruhina, was Saddakat bi Kalimati Robbiha, wa Kutubihi, wa Kanat Mir Khanitin. And Maryam married the daughter of Imran, who fortified, guarded her gaps, private parts. Then we breathe into her our rude spirit 
and she was truthful with the words of her Lord and his books and she was from the devout ones you see the words and books you see what is the word first of all what is the word I, I, I use one word that version doesn't explain anything then I use a sentence and the sentence and then many sentences become a book right what one word you know in, in English language or in other language they say one word two words many words then sentences and then the book so her question is what words and what books so in if you look it says she was truthful with the words of her Lord and his books and she was from the devout ones so normally people think there are four books people think how many four books and that books are Torah, Injil, Zabur, Quran Torah means law, Injil means good news, Zabur means peace, Quran means reading so if you believe four books then Maryam knew the Quran come on why not <laughs> why not because there is a book simple because you believe in four books so that she should know all these four books because in Arabic Kutubi Kutubi means books his books so <laughs> the question is what are those books and words that she was truthful first of all what are those books and what are those words she was truthful I, I read an ayah from the Quran you can note down the reference in Surah al bayr 98 and ayah 2 and 3 Rasulu min Allah yatlu suhufam mutahara fiha kutubun qayyima Rasul come messenger, Rasul means Rasul messenger from Allah Rasulum min Allah yatlu, he recites suhufam mutahara look this is a book okay this is one book it contains pages many pages and in the in the pages are ayats this is the Quran in the pages are ayats written down ayat says Rasul min Allah Rasul comes from Allah Yatlu he recites the pages purified the pages purified now the page if, if the page contains what this page contains what? Ayas. So the messenger was reciting the ayats in the pages. Fiha kutubun qayyima. So in the pages are books. Allah says, Fiha kutubun. In the pages are books. Qayyima established. So can anyone understand? These pages can contain what? Ayas. Pages contain ayas. So ayas are books written down establish they are established so you if, if we Muslims can call this a book containing ayahs every ayat is a book whenever person writes a book this whole book any person writes a book he makes sure that what he wants to begin and what wants he to end and the com message is complete and sentence is complete if a sentence is complete in its own it's a book so all the ayahs are complete factual in, by itself it, they are all books so that means all the ayahs are the books which the messenger recites so Maryam, Hazrat Maryam when referred Kutubi he his books are referring to the, all the ayahs contained in a book and the words are the words of Allah that are making sentences ayahs one word then ayahs many ayahs so Maryam was truthful to the ayats or to the books or to the words the words of Allah are this ayats of Allah are this if I believe and I am truthful to the word of Allah so Maryam alayhi salam Maryam alayhi salam was truthful to the books containing all the ayats of a book she believed all the books in a book you see if you will be surprised to know there is a bible you know this Bible is also, can you see, this? Can you see? see this is a book, if I hold it in mind it is a book and this is also Quran is a book, both are book, right, book but if you open the book, in first 
Old Testament, it is divided into two parts. Old Testament, New Testament. And the Old Testament contain books. And this Christian people believe that. A book contain books. A book Bible contain books. Old Testament contains books. New Testament contain books. Books in a book. And there is a book of Jonah is one page. A book of Jonah is one page. Genesis is a book. Exodus is a book. Deuteronomy is a book. In a book Bible. So why can't Quran Allah when Allah says that it contains books, you people are surprised. But when mankind is saying in a book there are many books, 76 books of the, of the Roman Catholics and 66 books of the King James Version contain books in a book Bible. And they believe so. And in the book there is only one page, the book of Jonah. But people believe books in a book. When Allah says that Rasul comes from Allah and recites the pages purified and in the pages are the books established. People look at me, what pages can contain books, how is it possible? But the Christian, maximum Christians of the world are believing this, all these pages containing books. So the fact is that <laughs> the spirit of Allah understanding more difficult, man says believe it. Is this the answer to your question, right? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum My name is Shafiq Qadri. My question is, when is the spirit sent down? Okay. <clears throat> you see, uh, uh, one is the process of sending down the, the, I explained in my lecture, but in the Quran there is a specific time factor. The time factor when the Quranic spirit is sent down. It, it's Surah Laylatul Qadr, you must have heard it. Surah Laylatul, Laylatul Qadr. Okay? And that is in Surah, you can write down the reference in Surah Al Qadr 97 Surah. And that is 1 to 4 ayahs. And most of the people know this, but I will clarify what happens. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr. Wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr. Laylatul qadr khayrun min al fi shahar. Surely we have revealed it in the night of evaluation and what you can perceive, what is the night of evaluation? Night of evaluation is better than from thought thousand months. From every order the angels and our ruh, the spirit is sent down in it with the permission of the Lord. Tanazrul malaika wa ruh. Malaika, angels and Ruh, the spirit, is sent down by the order of, by the permission of Lord. By the order of Bin uh, Yamar, uh, is sent down in it with the permission of their Lord. Now, now first of all, uh, we Muslims know when this Laylatul Qadr comes in the month of Ramadan. In the month of Ramadan, in the last ten nights, is dedicated for Etikaf and People go and sit in the mosque. So, uh, so you must understand this all, all, all. This question is the when the spirit is sent down. So you must understand. It says first of all, I will give you another reference to establish that it is the month of Ramadan. The spirit comes. It says Surah Al Baqarah two one eighty five. Shahu Ramadan ladi unzila fil Quran. Ramzan is the month in which the Quran is revealed. Hudal linnas. A guidance for mankind. Wabayinati mil hudawal furqan and a clarification and a criteria. The Quran is a clarification, a criteria from Huda. Wabayinati mil hudawal furqan. Faman shayda min kumu sharaf al yasumu. And whoever is, is a witness in that month should fast. So from here we come to know that this is the month of Ramadan in which the Quran is sent down a guidance from mankind and whoever is present in during that month should fast. So this is one aspect that the, 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 the spirit is sent down in the month of Ramadan. And the Taravi procedure is being established by people are reciting the whole Quran is being sent down in the month of Ramadan. And in the last ten nights, the spirit send, is sent down because it says, Inna anzalnaw fi laylatul qadr. This is how this ayat comes. 
surely we reveal in the night of evaluation wama adraka ma lailatul qadr and what you can perceive that what is the night of evaluation what is the night of evaluation what do you have perception so he said lailatul qadri khairum min al fishar night of evaluation is better from 1000 months what uh, and for he said tanazul malaika wa ruh and the angels and the spirit again malaika and ruh are separate malaika is sent down and ruh spirit is sent down be is the with, with the permission of his lord so what happens that if you are sitting in a mosque in itikaf or in the month of ramadan you are hearing quran and in the last and nights the spirit and the angels are sent down the spirit we have understood the essence of the words of allah the essence of the book of allah the spirit of the book of allah it is being sent down and if that is these are the night of evaluation you evaluate when we are in that night you are evaluating what is happening who are you where you have come from what is allah saying and what not everything is in that in during that those days and once you, you are sitting in that in that situation and if suppose that revelation with the essence is revealed to you a small aspect or naya it is better than 1000 months you understand it 1000 months like suppose if i want to understand one particular subject of any uh, research in the world it may take for me how many 1000 months to understand that is almost 83 years a person wants to establish a fact may take 83 years to understand anything but in the night of evaluation you can get it from allah revealed by allah in that month of ramadan in a night in a night believe me a person with tremendous amount of reading other books and research may not understand it may take 83 approximately just one give you 1083 years 1000 years but for allah that is why there is a difference between revelation and this is different revelation means it was unveiled to you it was there it was unveiled to you in a night of evaluation but if suppose you want to research that and you want to do research and find it's a fact or not it may take 83 years to understand that little verse of allah there there's an idea i will just give you an example do the unbelievers see that the skies and the earth was one unit mass then we split them asunder that is the big bang theory now it is you see how many years not 1000 months 183 it took years to understand to come to this conclusion that the whole skies and the earth and galaxy was one unit mass then we made it a split then we made it a split thousand sciences are involved to come to a this fact and allah says in one ayah if somebody comes to me and say suppose become the facts a theory now tomorrow it becomes a fact that the whole universe and galaxy by scientific fact they come to know that allah uh, that it was split asunder i mean that that the, all the skies and the stars and the moons came from one unit mass and it was split it by allah so i knew it the ayah before <laughs> it was revealed to me in the one night of evaluation i knew it for long time so what your thousand of research you research and you come to a conclusion which i knew it before the ayah has already informed me it was revealed to me but you you are so many sciences are involved to come to this fact that it it was one unit mass then we made a split is similarly the how the child is born in the mother's womb and all the processes you you find this is latest technology microscopic you can't see like this so you come to know now it was revealed to me in the eyes so you understand any fact can be revealed to you in a night of evaluation but the people do researches come to that conclusion i knew it before so that is why it's a better than 1000 months means 83 years it's just a rough figure for telling the mankind that go and do researches and find out you come to the same original fact as already recorded in the quran from before so for allah this is evaluation you come to know in the night of that is why allah said what you understand what you perceive what that night of evaluation is 
it's so it's so important that we sit because we we are fasting the daytime our taqwa is increased uh, we are guarding our psyche by fasting you know that's a separate subject of fasting uh, i'll deliver a talk on fasting but what i'm trying to say that night of evaluation is very important and in that night in every year of the year that the spirit is sent down a guidance for mankind in the month of okay sir my name is mohammad rajul ahmed khan uh, through your dynamic and impactful lecture it is learned that the spirit is sent down at the night of evaluation is this ascension of the spirit is mentioned in the holy quran okay thank you welcome you see now what has happened allah is revealing the spirit to mankind and the angels are descending now there is also ascension is mentioned of the spirit of the angels in the quran that is his question in surah al maarij 70 surah and ayah 1 to 4 سأل السائل بعذاب واقع للكافين ليس له دافع من الله ذي المعارج تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. A questioner, a questioner asked of the punishment to happen. When the punishment will happen? For the rejectors, none can avert that punishment can never be averted uh, by the uh, by the anyone. that punishment will come from the lord of the ascension now the lss tarujul malaika the angels were ruh ilaihi tarujul malaika were ruh the angels and ruh ascends towards him towards allah ilaihi fi yawmi kana miqdaru 50 alf sana towards him in a day that measures 50000 years now this this is the ascension of the spirit the spirit is is ascending descending sorry is, is, is uh, revelation is being done is send, uh, uh, the spirit is revealed or descending in every year in the month of ramadan but the ascension meaning if the spirit is taken away from 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 from, from the world and reaches allah almighty it takes 50000 years ascension tarujul ma and after that the punishment is due because it says the question and ask of the punishment to happen when is the punishment to happen so he said for the rejectors cannot avert from the lord of the ascension the angels and the ruh ascends towards him in a day measure 50000 years and when it occurs because the ruh will be taken away from this mankind after 50000 years then again it will descend but this ascending is coming and descending is continuous but ascension is taking 50000 punishment punishment will occur so what i am what ascension is mentioned but the question very amazing thing is you'll be surprised to know there is a surah this al maarij surah 70 and i want to four ascension is mentioned of the spirit and the angels towards allah tarujul malaika tarujul malaika wa ruh ilayhi the angels and ruh ascends towards him fi yawmi kana miqdaru 50 alfa alfa sana ascends towards him in a day it measures 50000 years 50000 years and people are telling me that there is an ascension mention in the quran for muhammad peace be upon him and he was ascended into the and reached allah and came back again and in in, in the seconds i suppose ha huh? in a spur of a moment there is not you see this 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 whole scenario is not mentioned in the quran and when i was i was reading the quran somebody posed me this question and asked me don't you believe in ascension of the prophet so i look up at the dictionary and find out what is the meaning of ascension in arabic is ma'araja miraj ma'raj and this is surah ma'arij and here the ascension is mention of the spirit the ruh and with the angels ascend ascend to him ilahi 50000 years and there is not a single anywhere categorical ayah mentioning the ascension of muhammad peace be upon him that doesn't mean i am disgracing him why should i why should i do but the point is that the ascension is mentioned of the spirit and the angels and the ruh of allah the essence of ayas of allah that we have understood 
So the question, <laughs> the problem is that we are not uh, uh, looking at the ayahs where the ascension is mentioned of the ruh, the spirit of the angels is mentioned and the name of the surah is Maharaj, Maharaj means ascension but they bring by hook and crook some from, from, from his the most super, stupendous event and if it was done with Muhammad peace be away, Allah would have mentioned his book rather to find out in the books of history if Allah was has taken Muhammad peace be upon him ascended him to him won't he mention the, in, the, in his book or you have to find out from books of history to find out how he was ascended and what happened but the ascension believe me is mentioned only with the ruh and the angels in the whole book Quran nobody has ascended except the angels the word ascension is used with the angels in the spirit the word ma'raj in the whole book Quran the spirit is ascends to him and the angels are sent to him to him means to Ilai, to Allah and that measure is 50,000 years yes, please. Assalamu alaikum well, my name is Manzoor Allah uh, in your lecture you happen to mention uh, uh, Taha 20 in which you said that uh, Musa alayhi salam regarding Musa alayhi salam and open, open the knot from my language in which you said you commented that it was not that he stuttered yeah. But he wanted to know, know the language of the Firon. But uh, the Quran also says that he was brought up by the Firon. So he must know the language of the Firon. So it was not, why would he ask Allah for, uh, uh, to open the knot when he already knew the language? And also he asked Allah to, uh, to get his brother who, would, spe who would speak uh, clearly, who could speak clearer. And uh, you are rejecting the fact that he stuttered. Okay. No, as, as, uh, the, you see, he knew the language of the Firaun. He himself was speaking the same language. I was talking about, he was asking the open the knot of the language of the spirit of Allah that is revealed to him. Allah is delivering him the message, Musa Salam. He is to now go to deliver the message, message to Firaun. So he is going to translate that essence of message of God of what Allah spoke to him. So now the Firaun knew the language, he knew the language. So he was trying to translate the essence in his language. That was he was asking to open the knot of, not my language, he's not to stutter, his language, you know, he's not bothered about his language. He's trying, he's, he's going to deliver the message of God to Firon in his language. Message of God, spirit transferred in his language, which Firon, of course, opposed. And the, you can see the reaction. And, and he asked for help. So Allah said, okay, we will help you as a wazir, the, the Harun. But if you look in the ayahs, it was Musa Salam and Harun at times, but normally Musa. Harun separately did not speak to Firaun at all in the whole book Quran. Only Musa and Harun together and Musa Salam spoke to Firaun. If you look at the ayahs, there are times that Musa and Harun both spoke. So Allah says they both spoke. And otherwise it was Musa Salam in first person speaking to Firaun. And that message that he was delivering, for that he was talking about the open the knot of that language of the spirit of Allah, not the language. Yes, every messenger should be asking this same thing. That is why I ended with my lecture, Ibrahim al -Islam also, he was asking the open, that not, not, he said the other way, that, that oh, uh, oh, uh, and for me, make language, language truthful in others. So I also end this lecture, because Ibrahim is the millat aybikum, Ibrahim is the father of Ibrahim, uh, father of the religion. So I end my lecture by his call, so uh, that um, make language truthful so that people can co have confidence truthful in others in, in all times actually in translations i think that uh, when you when you if translate over here open the note from my language yeah and uh, in, in translations the, the word language is not used i think in certain places uh, not in my, uh, uh, open my not the note from my tongue Okay, uh, tang, tang, you see, tang in Arabic, lesan, you see, the, the, you see, lesan in, 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 in English also, in Urdu also, in Arabic also, is used in two meanings. One is the tang, in Arabic also, when it is referred to a tang, this tang, Allah has said, I have given you two, two eyes and a tang. So, we understand it is referring to a physical tang. But when the same word is used for language, you have to look at the context, is it using for a tang or is it using for language? 
لیکن اردو لسانی جھگڑے اینڈ ون اٹ کہ آپ کی آپ کی زبان کیا ہے واٹ از یور لینگویج سو آئی ایم آسکنگ واٹ از یور ٹنگ آئی ڈونٹ سے واٹ از یور مدر ٹنگ سو اٹ از آئی سے واٹ از واٹ لینگویج یو اسپیک آئی کین یوز لینگویج اینڈ اینڈ دا ٹنگ دا ان عربک دا ورڈ از لسان ون ورڈ بٹ ان ادر لینگویجز ان اردو آلسو وی یوز ٹو 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 ورڈس لائک وی سے واٹ از یور مدر ٹنگ سو دے آر ناٹ آسکنگ ایکچولی مدر ٹنگ دے آر آسکنگ دا لینگویج سو دا ورڈ از یوز لسان so in language in english language also urdu language you can understand this is here the language is being asked or the tongue is being asked so that is we understand it is language there musa is asking because because every messenger has to deliver the message in the language the language of the people that ayat i have read so musa islam is also asking to open the knot of the language which he speaks and the firaun speaks that's the same language but open that language of allah's message to be delivered because he was going to deliver the message of allah which Firon reacted. With this we end today's program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much.